Hi, I'm Diane DeResta, author of Knockout Presentations and Give Fear the Finger. If you're a public speaker or a presenter, there are certain things you need to do before, during, and after a presentation. Let's talk about those things to do after. It's not over till it's over, so make sure it's a clean finish and you tie up the loose ends. So, if you've given people a call to action, a next step, tell them how to do that. Invite them to your website. Give them the URL or the contact information. Make sure that you now collect the evaluations. These evaluation sheets should have been placed out earlier before you began the presentation. Make sure you collect all of them because it will be a great source of feedback for you. Also be sure to thank the host or whoever organized the presentation. If they're there in person, thank them from the platform and if they're not, make sure that you send a written note thanking them. You also want to collect business cards from key people who could be good resources for you. Also, make sure that you clean up the space. Don't leave a mess because, again, you're the speaker and that's your reputation. Make sure that you remain after the speech. Don't be one of those speakers who come in 10 minutes before the presentation and leaves right afterwards. This is an opportunity to build relationships. So keep that momentum going. Remain and chat with people. You may learn things that you didn't earlier. And follow up in 24 hours. This is key. People get excited when they hear you speak and then as they leave to go on with their day, they forget about you. So make sure that you follow up immediately. Use these techniques, use these tips, and you will be more successful in all of your presentations. I wish you success on the platform of life and may every presentation be a knockout.